I'm Greg Austin of the Greg Austin Band, and I am Creative Lexington. Um, Mom and I moved into a duplex, and uh, we lived right beside Lafayette High School. So I didn't have any brothers and sisters, so I spent all of my time playing ball at six, seven, eight years old. Singer Greg Austin knows about athletics and music. Austin was an All-American quarterback at Lafayette High School and played basketball at Auburn University. That was pretty neat. Uh, I wanted to get out of town, so I, that was the only other than UK. Uh, Auburn was the only SEC team that recruited me. When I signed at Auburn, I took my uh, guitar with me and we, you know, some of the guys around there, would, we'd sit around and play. I started my own band and um, I'd met a guy in Houston named Ron Daly and he would always sing harmony with whatever song I was singing. And so I said, Ron, we ought to start a band. He said, yeah, we ought to. Then I met a guy named Bubba Hudson in Houston. And finally in 78, no, 79, we came up here and uh, started our own band. And I wanted to call the band Elkhorn Creek or, or Brian's Boys or something. And after they'd been here for about a month, they said, there's no, they said, this is gonna be called the Greg Austin Band. There's no voting on it. That's the name of the band. All right. We met some people that, that really liked our music and they wanted to open up a bar just for us, for the, you know, for the band. So we started Austin City Saloon, which is still, still happening today. Matter of fact, uh, I was over there a couple of months ago and the kids that bought it, there's, I call them kids, they're probably in their 30s now, and they elected me the first member of the Austin City Hall of Fame. I've been playing a single now for uh, have, uh, how many years that's left, uh, 14 or 15, I guess. And I like it more, I don't have the responsibility. I was not a very good boss. Uh, I made the guys rehearse every day and we traveled all over the place and nobody liked that, everybody had families. I've always had a, a thing, you know, about music. I, it's, I guess being alone when you're young, it's about, what, you know, one of the few friends I really had. Uh, had me a little radio, you know, and carried it around. And uh, I just really got into the music, the lyrics, the, the beat, uh, really liked old folk music and, uh, and stuff like that. But then when rock and roll came around, I, you know, I really liked that too. And the music itself, I can play most anything, but uh, I choose to play, you know, stuff that I've written, old rock and roll, and old folk music. Uh, that's what I like, that's what I listen to. My songwriting process is, I try to write every day, and I do write every day, even if it's just I wrote every day. I've got thousands of sheets of paper that have maybe one line. I'm a little critical about my writing, and so I, uh, if it's not perfect in my mind, I just put it in with all the rest of them. So it's a big part of my life, but uh, I've never, I've had a few outside people record my songs and uh, uh, it's really, really exciting when that happens. I felt deep down inside that I'd always end up playing, playing music. I will never retire from playing music. I might retire from music to make a living, but uh, I hope not. But um, I've seen and heard people play way up in their 80s. I don't know if I'll live that long, but if I do, I think I'll be playing. I like music now more than I ever have. I just really enjoy what I'm doing. Support your local arts, because we are Creative Lexington.